Well, how is it to stand here today uh, and not be preparing for the postseason? Uh, obviously disappointing, you know, uh, especially with the run we went on there and uh, the way things kind of were going. I think we all kind of expected to get in and, you know, it's just a little bit disappointing. But, uh, you know, it's the way it goes. It's a good lesson. I think, uh, you know, it's tough to have a lot of stick or chip stacked against you and try to run the table. And, you know, I just think we, you know, kind of, if we had a little bit better start, obviously, things would have been a little bit different. We've picked up a few points here and there, but uh, that's the way it goes. And, uh, you know, I think, like I said, it's a good lesson for the guys that will be coming back and, you know, all the young guys that got to go through it. Well, when you talk about lessons, how powerful was it to have a target of 88 points set in front of you and to be driving down that stretch, suddenly realizing it's a possibility? Yeah, and I think, you know, I really put a, you know, once we got a number on it, it kind of some, seemed like it was doable. And, you know, you, you kind of look at things from uh, far at that point in the season, you you, you kind of really looking uphill and you're kind of you know it's, it's almost unrealistic and I think uh, once we kind of the number on there just to, we kept chipping away and it seemed like it kind of got smaller and smaller and you know it just uh, it really uh, it was fun trying to get to that point but you know it wasn't uh, wasn't good enough. You've been around the game a while uh, you've seen uh, teams that are tight teams that are not so tight and uh, this team was known for its chemistry uh, yeah. was it special in, in what you've seen down the years? Uh, yeah you know I think that's probably the most disappointing thing was we were having so much fun and enjoying ourselves that uh, it's, it's tough that it had to end you know and I think uh, you know it's often uh, you know when you get on some good teams that's the way it goes but uh, you know it was a lot of fun I think it probably galvanized us a lot together the way things went in the first half of the year and just uh, you know everyone kind of pushed us aside and didn't think we had much of a team so I think it really brought us together and you know we had a good good push at it but uh, you know it's, it is what it is. From a personal point of view, uh, what a year it was. I mean, you come in on a tryout, uh, you find yourself uh, working to get a place in the lineup, keep your career alive, then you suffer an injury, you're out for an extended period, great uncertainty there, that's got to be difficult. And then you come back and, and you're scoring goals and, and you're a big part of the fight back. Just uh, from a big picture point of view, what will you take from this year? Uh, I mean, definitely mentally tough at times. Uh, you know, I had lots of support from my family, which was really nice to be close to home. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, maybe if I was on the other side of the country, I think things may be a little bit different. Just uh, you, you get a little bit down when you're not playing. And, you know, just having uh, lots of family around was a lot of fun for me and just, you know, really wanted me, really made me push to want to get back. And, uh, you know, I thought the team did a good job of just making sure I was healthy and, uh, you know, making sure I was going through all the right steps. And, uh you know, it took some time, but, you know, when I got back, I was ready to go. And, you know, it was, uh, you know, sometimes I think when you get things taken away from you, you take you, uh, kind of a little bit of chip on your shoulder and want to, you know, take things, don't want to take things for granted. And, uh, you know, I just really tried to enjoy my last, you know, games here at the end of the season. And, you know, tried to play everyone like it was going to be the last one because, you know, you just never know. Yeah, and then with that in mind then, what are your thoughts now as you try to reflect on this year and look to what's to come? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I really enjoyed myself here. I mean, I'd, uh, I'd sure like to come back and be a part of it in the future, but, uh, you know, it's, it's hockey and you just never know how these things work out. But, uh, you know, uh, special place to play, real good organization. Uh, I had a lot of fun throughout the year and, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's fun playing hockey and it's just something, something special when you get to play close to home. Health-wise, are you going to be okay? It's just a matter yeah. of a little bit of time? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, just a little bit of tweak there at the end of the year. But uh, the big, you know, my wife said to me the other day, at least your head's okay. So, uh, you know, we're, we're picking battles now. But, uh, you know, I'm healthy enough to be going in the summer and just have a good summer and, uh, you know, get back to work here and, uh, you know, try and get the body ready to go for next season so I can play a few more games. You know, what did it mean to be, like, you weren't necessarily wearing a C, obviously, but to be a, seen as a leader on this team, and, and relied upon from both the coaching staff and the other players? It was fun, you know, I think uh, most of my career up in the big leagues, you know, you, I'm kind of a fourth line role guy and, you know, I try to bring some leadership, but, you know, it, they really look to the top guys up there, guys making the big bucks and expect to, the, you know, carry the team. And sometimes you kind of have to be a little bit of a, you know, I guess, a, you know, a teammate at, at that point. And I think, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I guess coming into here this year, you know, team guys look up to me, I think, because of my resume. And, uh, you know, I think uh, just the way Pazzy treated me around the, the rink, too, you know, I think he really uh, he, he expected a lot of me. But at the same time, he, he made sure that, uh, you know, it was in a good environment and lots of fun and not too much pressure on me and just, uh, you know, just allowed me to be myself. And I think, uh, you know, sometimes when you're when you're allowed to be yourself in this game, your, your true colors come out. And, you know, we had a good group of uh you know, older guys here, you know, with Pete and, you know, just that the standard was there, you know, I think it was just, uh, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of, uh, 
you know, some accountability and some, uh, I guess, you know, some bark, some nights from some older guys. And I think, you know, it was just easy for me to kind of take that role. And, you know, if I was kind of the, you know, the bad cop some nights, we had some good leaders that were uh, often the good cop and kind of sweeping the sweeping things under the rug behind me. So, you know, it, from the outside looking in, you know, I think I got a lot of, you know, press from the way things went when I came back in the lineup. But, you know, those guys held the ship together all year. And I think, uh, you know, without some of the, you know, even getting Shazi here, I think at one point, and, uh, you know, Griff was a good leader for us down the stretch and shill and you know uh, I think a, you know a big loss at the end of the year was Lapon you know so I think uh, you know as much as I had a lot to do with it I think those guys really held the glue together all year and uh, you know just allowed me to come in and kind of be the you know the guy just I, you know I felt like I had the hammer some nights you know just like you know making sure guys were doing things the right way and I had those guys had my back and I think it just uh, the accountability factor just really allowed us to start winning some games and I think uh, you know start playing for each other and you know all those like right things that guys say all the time but you know it, sometimes it takes a it takes a good group of leaders that really execute that. You know, Ryan, just you played over 300 games in the NHL, and but you're a Manitoba kid, and so yeah. getting a chance to, like you said, play in front of your friends and family, and and be lo lo fairly close, like locals, obviously. Yeah. But, but just getting that opportunity, what did that mean? It was huge. I mean, I, I had so much fun this year. You know, it sucked I was, didn't get to play enough at home, and uh, I would have loved to play all the games, obviously. But uh, you know, just having my family around, and you know, you know, I don't know, can't remember, I don't know how many times in my career I had 15 people at the rink, and you know, uh, you know, that's pretty special to me. And you know, I have my son at the games, and uh, you know, my my niece came to a couple games this year. You know, so it was pretty special. I'm, I've been away from home for a long time, and you know, as you get older, you start to miss some things in life and uh, some family stuff going on. And you know, so it was uh, it was a lot, it was really special for me. I enjoyed it, and you know, I, I can't say enough good things about the organization. I think they the way they treat the guys here, and you know, is it, uh, it was a lot of fun. Right. Talk about getting older. And I'm wondering, for somebody in your position who puts up with such a puts a put, you put yourself through such a physical toll. Are you finding it harder to recover from injuries uh, during the course of the season and even in the off season? I mean, yeah, I'm sore quite often. You know, I wake up in the morning, my body's sore, and I think I, throughout the years, I think uh, you know my habits of you know allowed me to continue to get back in the lineup, and you know I've, I've kind of learned the hard way from being injured, and you know what kind of work you got to put in to get back in, and you know I just find now it's you know, I just try not to let myself get out of shape. You know, I, <laughs> you know, some of these guys are probably going home for a couple of weeks and take some time off. And uh, realistically, I'll be back in the gym here in a couple of days and just rehabbing and trying to get things going again. And uh, you know, it's just I think the later you go in your career, the the more of a job it becomes to keep your body in, intact. And uh, you know, it's obviously the way I play. Sometimes it's. Uh, Things are out of my control a little bit with the physicality, but uh, you know I can't change the way I play. I'm always going to play the same way, so I just uh, got to get get a good summer in the gym here, and uh, you know just try and get bigger and stronger like I always do, and you know try to rehab those little nicks and bruises that you get. But uh, you know it certainly does get more challenging when you get older. But uh, you know at the same time, I think uh, you know going through it as a younger player, I think it gives you the the tools to be able to deal with a lot of these things, and you know it just becomes second nature. You know I find. I'm probably better at rehabbing than playing hockey these days. So, <laughs> so what kind of ceiling do you think you have here? How long do you want to play? Uh, you know, honestly, like, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty sure they'll be dragging the skates off me. I, I love to play, and, uh, you know, as long as I can keep physically, you know, coming to work and helping contribute, I'm going to, you know, keep playing. So I'm not sure, uh, you know, you get to my age, and sometimes your opportunities aren't as what they used to be. But, uh, you know, it's uh, still special to play, and it's still, you know, something I love to do. And, you know, I really – at this point in time, I can't see myself doing anything else. So, you know, I'm looking to come back and, uh, you know, hopefully have a better season next year.